out here at uh, Thunder Hill shooting the new Ford GT. The moment. Okay, what's the one on the back? Ford is certainly a company that has a history of racing, and it's had great success in racing, and certainly the car that seemed to uh, pull it to an international level in the 60s was the Ford GT40. Ford, uh, with Jay Mays, were able to take this entire concept that happened purely about going fast in the 60s and put it into something that's actually a road-going version. And it's interesting because when I look at the car, the scale of the car is obviously larger than the original race car, but you don't get a sense of that. Everything is still wonderfully proportioned. And to think that those proportions were originally generated purely to go fast and see it today for something that you can drive on the street comfortably but still have phenomenal performance, that's a great balance. And most car companies aren't able to tie those things together. And the great thing about Ford is that it had such a history with the G240 to be able to put things in perspective. This certainly is kind of the pinnacle of the uh, racing history combined with today's designs. With that car here, with all the torque it's got, it, it's certainly a thrill to, to drive. You know, at the same time, you've got to have a lot of respect for, for its, its capabilities and speed. The main straight here, you know, I'm only just getting into fourth gear and I, and I check out the speedo, we're 140 miles an hour. So um, the corner at the end of the straight there it rushes up pretty quick. So uh, um, on, in the wet and that, you, you don't need to be turning into a plow there and uh, doing a little bit of agricultural work. So that, that sort of thing can happen real quick. What we found shooting the car is that in the studio, uh, there wasn't a bad angle on it. All the heritage came through, all the beauty came through, and just sitting there, all the performance came through. It's truly packaged as something that's wonderful from every angle. And part of the things we've been able to achieve in this is the overhead views of it from a pure design. It's absolutely stunning from above, and that's where from above, you see the engine placement, you see the driver placement, you see the hips on the rear, you see its stance, and you understand that this thing is built for speed and handling. Truly a performance car that can stand on its own. It's uh, going out there and beating the Ferraris and beating the Porsches and all that, so it's really nice to see it here truly performing on the track. I could always keep up with a car in a helicopter until I shot the Ford GT.